Welcome in to Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. The video that some of you have been waiting for, Jack Jones replacements. We'll tell you everything you need to know about the situation regarding Jack Jones, as well as four names to watch the Patriots could sign to replace him on their roster. We'll go over all of that and more coming up in a matter of moments. Before we do, we are down to the wire in the sub-battle between us and and Texans today to see who can get to 4,000 subscribers first. I told you we were making significant progress on not only getting to 4K subs, but getting there before Texans today. And I got to tell you, it is very, very close. I wasn't kidding that we are almost there. Just two subs, two subs behind Texans today. Let's take the checkered flag and get there and beat Texans today in the process as well. Subscribe today for the latest happenings on your New England Patriots as we have daily news and rumors and very, very soon live shows and watch parties here on the channel as well. What are you waiting for? Hop on the bandwagon. Come on in and stay a while and subscribe now for free today. You'll be glad you did. Jack Jones, uh, his time in New England could be over pretty soon after an arrest that happened within the last few days and. We'll go over some replacement options of where the New England Patriots could go next after Jack Jones. But first, let me tell you about this situation of what has unfolded. Here's everything you need to know. Jones was arrested on June 16th for firearms in carry-on luggage. He ended up pleading not guilty to nine gun charges. In addition to an airport security violation, Jones was charged with two counts each of unlawful possession of a firearm, carrying a loaded firearm, possession of a large capacity magazine, and possession of ammunition without a firearm identification card. So some big no-nos there, to say the least. He posted a $30,000 bond, and his court date, uh, next court date, is set for August 18th. His attorney said that Jones was almost fired due to the social media response, the outrage of what happened here and this situation. And you talk about the player on the football field, Jones coming off a season where he played really well in 13 games, had 30 tackles, two interceptions, and a touchdown scored as well. And this is not the first issue we've seen from Jack Jones in his career. He was suspended from Arizona State back in 2020 for violating team rules. He then uh, went before that, at, was at USC, uh, and after two seasons uh, left that program due to academic issues. And after he left USC before he went to Arizona State, he was arrested for robbing a Panda Express so you can see the issues have piled up. There is a track record here for Jack Jones, not the first time that he's dealt with legal issues here, uh, as uh, you can see with this situation here, the latest coming at the Boston Logan Airport. What's your one-word reaction to the Jack Jones news of the situation that's unfolded here? Let us know in the comments section. Give me one word to describe it all, and we'll get to the replacements in a moment, but first, Tell me what your one-word reaction is to everything that's unfolded here the last few days. So let's go through the top replacements now for Jack Jones. Let's start with Marcus Peters. We've talked about Marcus Peters previously here on the channel as a possible option for the New England Patriots to sign anyway. They were looking for another corner option when the uh, draft was going on. Ultimately ended up with Christian Gonzalez with uh, the uh, first-round pick that they had traded down with the Pittsburgh Steelers. But now you have a need that's popped up that you weren't expecting with what's gone on with Jones here. And Marcus Peters could potentially fill that void, previously playing for the Ravens, the Rams, and the Chiefs. Sure, he might not be the same player that he was a few years ago, but the uh, track record speaks for itself of a three-time Pro Bowl career uh, in 2015, 2016, and 2019 was the NFL's Defensive Rookie of the Year back in 2015. Marcus Peters has been a guy that he's been able to get create turnovers uh, and do a very good job of that throughout his career, but he gives up the big plays as well. And so 
with the Patriots where they're at defensively. He wouldn't be your number one or number two corner, but you could throw him out there with the hopes of just getting those big plays, of creating those turnovers and be a turnover-creating specialist of some sorts to fill that role uh, left with the vo void of Jones here. Uh, he could certainly uh, fit that for now where things stack up. Another name, don't laugh, Eli Apple. Uh, Eli Apple is a guy that uh, we have seen – get a lot of attention for the wrong reasons over the last couple of seasons. Uh, you go back to the Super Bowl that he started uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals a couple of years ago, gave up the uh, game-winning touchdown to Cooper Cup there, but uh, we've seen, you know, the attention that he's drawn on social media and, uh, you know, kind of, you know, talking a lot of things that he couldn't necessarily back up. But when you start to look past those things and look at some of these statistics. Eli Apple might be better than what he's given credit for. You go back to 2022, and he had, according to PFF, the lowest passer rating allowed in man coverage in the NFL. So not bad for Eli Apple as far as that goes. Uh, his career, he's been a journeyman playing for Cincinnati, Carolina, New Orleans, and the New York Giants, just to name a few teams there. Uh, a, another name we'll get to in a second is Ronald Darby. I'll tell you more about Ronald Darby in just a moment. But first, want to have you guys chime in in the comments section. If you had to pick one of these two, Marcus Peters or Eli Apple, which guy would you choose between these two? Type M for Marcus Peters, type E for Eli Apple, weigh in in the comments section, tell me which guy you'll rather have on this roster, M for Marcus Peters, E for Eli Apple. Let me know which guy you'd like the Patriots to sign. Next up is Ronald Darby. And Ronald Darby, a Super Bowl champion uh, several years ago. He's been a journeyman as well, previously playing for the Broncos, the Commanders, the Eagles, and the Bills. A lot of experience playing at a high level. Was an all-rookie team selection back in 2015. And I think the common theme that you're going to see with these guys that we're talking about here. This is just a temporary solution, right? You're looking to get by for the time being of replacing Jack Jones because where we're at this late in the offseason, uh, there's not a whole lot of options, obviously. And teams have their rosters set. The draft is uh, months behind us at this point, And you're kind of just seeing what you can get. You get what you get uh, at this point in time just to see what you can do to make the best out of a bad situation, and that's where Ronald Darby and some of these others could come in. The last name on our list of potential replacement options uh, includes Fabian Moreau, uh, who has played for several different teams, including the Giants, the Texans, the Falcons, and the Commanders. And the thing about Moreau, which I find fascinating for this situation that the Patriots are in, is the flexibility that Moreau brings to the table. You're talking about a guy who can play the boundary corner. He can play slot corner. He can also play the box safety position as well. Last season, three games in 2022, he uh, held opposing receivers to a catch rate of below 45% uh, in three different games last year. So pretty solid, uh, that coverage rating on that front for what he was able to do there. The versatility that he would provide just plug and play and try to find a role for him of some sorts, which uh, is pretty good considering the Patriots' circumstances where they stand right now. So before we get out of here today, name a corner you think the Patriots should sign to replace Jack Jones. We gave you four names. There's obviously some others out there as well. Who would you like to see the New England Patriots sign to be a replacement for Jack Jones? Weigh in on the comments section. Give me a name that comes to mind that you would like to see the Patriots add as a potential replacement option. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, talking about your New England Patriots as we continue to cover this team like no one else does here on the channel. We'll have more updates on this situation as it goes along. Also continuing to obviously follow what's going on with DeAndre Hopkins as well. We'll have it all covered here on the channel We'll see you next time here on Patriots Today. Thanks for joining us.